Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. WP Theater continues their 40th anniversary season with Teresa Rebeck's play, What We're Up Against. It begins performances on October 28th, and we drop by the rehearsal room to meet the company. First of all, welcome back to the stage, hey. and what a great project to return in. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's really, really, really cool. Now, who do you play? I play Eliza. Um, not that Eliza, another Eliza. Um, and um, she is, I am a, um, a new member of this architecture firm and uh, I have a little bit of seniority over some other people but I'm not getting the work that I feel that I deserve so um, I take matters into my own hands and maybe uh, it's a good idea maybe it's not. <laughs> Having Teresa Reed back in the room with you what that's like. Yeah it's an, it's amazing we have just had a great time we've just been doing a lot of table work and to have her be able to explain to us what she meant and also you know she wrote this play a long time ago it's 1992 so to be like, I don't know, uh, let's let's find out what it is now and, and get our input. And that's that's been really, really exciting and refreshing. And your, your buddy is in the show with you? Yeah, my buddy, Skylar. We we uh, worked together in Spring Awakening number one. Um, I always have to make that distinction. Um, and uh, we it's been so fun, we haven't worked together since. So it's been about 10 years, 11 years. So um, even so much as like, being back in rehearsal together, we're just like reminiscing a lot about that. It's been fun. <laughs> I am thrilled we are back in a rehearsal room again. Tell me what it's been like for you working on this play with this incredible cast. Uh, you know, we just started. It's they're very, very gifted, um, and so they're and they're very, uh, they're like it's a team of actors, actors, and so there's the delight of absolutely mining every possible corner and we're right at the exploratory stages right now so it's um it's sort of the dreamy the dreamiest part i always think I although i like tech too you do like tech i do i like tech it's like we're coming into the finish line I like, now, right? I like watching everything fold together i like it when the lights come on and uh, i like watching the scene changes <laughs> i think that's really fun now, what can you tell us about the woman you're playing I'm playing a woman named Janice. It takes place in an, it's set in an architecture firm, um, and I've, you know, one of the team players in this group. There's five of us, and uh, I've been with the firm for six years. and And it's set in 1992. I don't know if you had gotten any information on it, but um, so it, you know, it, things were a little different there, but there's, but not much, you know. It, it's the whole, pl the many themes in the play. One of the main ones, I guess, is probably gender politics. Tell me why you wanted to direct this. I have loved working with Teresa and, and been a fan of Teresa's long before I, you know, knew her personally. Um, and this play especially feels like so, so important right now. Obviously, after the election last November, we are all um, sort of trying to understand the, uh, the, the lack of love for women and, and the gender politics of, of this time. And this play really goes at the heart of that and, and kind of will spark dialogue that I think a lot of people are hungry to have. It must be great to work on a new play, to have Teresa in the room. Yeah. Having Teresa in the room is such a joy because she, she wrote it I, she wrote it in 1992, but, it, you know, now that you have these new people playing the roles, she gets to reimagine and rethink and pull out old scenes that may not have worked on the page, but now that we are embodying these characters, you know, and we say, well, um, I, I feel like I should say something uh, to this degree, and then she'd be like, you know, I actually had a line. Let me put that back in, and and um, it's really taking shape, and it, it, it's 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 been in good shape since the second I read it. It's like a fast read, um, sharp, witty, insanely relevant. But what I love so much about this play is that um, it's not it's not very preachy. Uh, it's not a conversation ender, it's a conversation starter, which I think is really rich, that, that people will leave after this 90 minute no intermission play and you know, get to go out and get a drink or go to dinner and, and, and have the conversation that, that we should never be shying away from. Now, who do you play? I play a guy named Ben, who um, <clears throat> is, my, my function in the play is to try to get everybody past these distracting social issues so that we can just get the jobs done. Um, I don't feel that women should be left out if they're capable. I also don't care enough about that kind of thing to stand up and charge the windmills <clears throat> on their behalf or something. So 
it's it's somebody that I can relate to a lot because in the culture I grew up in, all the women around me were revered and there was a lot of equality in the in the partnerships and relationships in my family. So this stuff was off the radar for me until I started working in this business. I didn't understand it was an issue. Um, and that's kind of what's going on in the, in, in the play with my part. I don't know it's an issue until it's right in front of my face. And then I kind of say, well, sorry, I was just trying to get the job done. Yeah, yeah. It's like your third day of rehearsal, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're sitting around, we're talking, and it was great. Um, we, uh, we began by talking about personal stories about um, uh, when was the time that you wanted to work and someone prevented you from working? So mostly women started it and then it was all about gender, you know, and then I said I have no stories about when a woman prevented me from, from working because I'm a man or a man prevented me from working because I'm a man. But there are plenty of stories when we're not um, sort of honored or valued for just the totality of who we are and how that interferes in the workplace. and. Um, so it was very interesting. Lots of, lots of not so nice stories about show business. <laughs> what an exciting season for you. How excited are you? I couldn't be more excited. You know, we're about to have our 40th anniversary. So we've, uh, I, it feels like this season feels celebratory. It feels like let's celebrate all the ways that women tell stories. So this is it. Yeah, and this play in particular, incredibly exciting. Then there's the cast. Oh God, I you know, here's the thing. Teresa's telling a story that feels important and smart and uh, she's so sneaky and funny and great about it and it just felt like, well, how amazing to surround her with the, I think, the most exciting cast uh, in, in town right now. And to and they're so funny and smart and they, uh, they have come with such generosity of spirit to the material and to this institution. So I feel incredibly lucky. You always pick such incredible projects to produce. What are you looking forward to the most with having this play in New York? Just to be able to hear women's voices speaking, women's voices who are helping to tell the narrative and um, getting the attention to say, this is an issue, it's a problem we've got to solve, and we really need to go for it already.